Today on the show, this is one that I've been excited to see for quite a while. This is the new 2024 Land Cruiser. The Land Cruiser is back in the United States, and I know some people may go, well, that's just a Prado. I don't care what it is. They're calling it a Land Cruiser here in the United States, and it's pretty freaking wicked. So let's go walk around this thing, and I'm curious. What do you think of it? Are you excited by it, or uh, should we buy one? Because it's on the table. I've told Kelly for a while now, it's on the table to buy one of these. So uh, help me convince her. So let's do this. All right, first thing about this thing is, of course you get a two different light trims, depending on the 1958 first edition, or you can get the normal trim with the square lights. I kind of like the round lights of this one because it just reminds me of kind of the old FJ Cruiser, which is definitely the vibe they're going for here. Don't let it fool you. If you look at the, the way the mirrors and everything are done, they're definitely playing to that. And I think that is a good thing because the FJ people were sad that this vehicle or their vehicle went away. Now, are we getting a complete like off-road beast that the FJ Cruiser was? I have a feeling we are. Now, engine options is we're getting one engine. Yes, it's, it is a hybrid version of this. That doesn't bother me at all because I've always said that I like how Toyota's doing it. They're not just going to small displacement four cylinders with big turbos and then that's it. They're doing hybrid. So you are gonna get a lot of torque and a lot of extra power with this thing. Now, in the trim we're looking at right now, definitely it's in soccer mom mode and there's nothing wrong with that. As you can see, the Yokohama Geolander tires are definitely, um, well, they're just not aggressive, but the wheels look really cool. And I have a feeling the suspension is gonna be really cool as well. So let's look. Yep, nice big coil suspension under this thing. And uh, from what we can tell so far, not a ton of options for this vehicle, which I like. You know, I think we'll see little things when the building price pops up for these, but nothing, nothing too crazy. I think depending on which model you pick is basically going to be the options for this. And they're going to be hard to get. Don't, don't fool yourself because, well, it's Toyota and anything that has to do with Toyota and car dealers just seems to be a pain in the ass. But a couple things I like about this, the mud flaps would have to go. They're, I'm going to use this in off-road vehicle. I'm going to want to put real rock sliders under this thing, which you can actually bolt to a real frame. That is right if you did not know this is an actually body on frame design and in, in a world that we're losing this only a handful of manufacturers are keeping this around like Ford with the Bronco now with the Land Cruiser we're getting to keep the kind of body on frame vehicle which I like and speaking of like I love how this is all blacked out look at the Land Cruiser how it's blacked out bleeds into the the plastic of the Toyota and then I, I kind of strangely we got chrome out of all this, it's the one chrome thing I see on the back of this, which stands out. Maybe they want it to stand out, but overall, who cares? Now, the back of this thing is going to be super, super usable. It's going to have the classic, like the, the window pops up. You're going to be able to pull down the tailgate. It's going to be a lot of fun. As far as like the clearance of this, they definitely took in consideration departure angles and all that, as you can see. And it's a big, tall vehicle. I don't recall the numbers offhand right now, but definitely you have a lot of room you even if you never lift this thing you're going to go over obstacles with ease now i probably want a better tire to go under them with ease but that is what it is looking at the hood you get a big old hood on this the way they blend they blend the hood into the uh, fenders now which i like the days are gone of where the, the the hood would have blended up here and the fenders would have been bulky over here kind of like that kind of uh, kind of strange this big chunk of plastic up here though that is kind of odd to me it looks like you've got your your sprayers for your windshield wipers and all that now to the mirrors look at this definitely harken back to FJ Cruiser, which they want. You look at the mirror from this angle, it looks massive. You come where the actual usable part of the mirror is, and it doesn't look massive at all, which is strange. Now, this is a prototype. They've got it all locked up, which is strange. Normally, they still, for journalists, they leave these open, but is what it is. The interior of this thing, very friendly. We'll get, we'll do some time. I have a feeling this fall we'll get to do some time in this vehicle anyways. But overall, this thing looks pretty massive. I, uh, it's, it's bigger than I thought it would be, but yet it's small as I thought it would be, if that makes any sense. It's uh, the days of the big kind of, big 300, the big, the big, they're just mommy crawler, big SUVs are gone. This is more of a usable, if you want to go exploring, you want to build something for overlanding. You want to build something just for, uh, you know, something to look badass. I think Toyota has a hit on their hand with this. So all new 2024 Land Cruiser. I'm curious in the comments below, let me know what you think about this thing. Are you interested in this vehicle? Because the cards are on the table that I've told Kelly we may buy one of these as our next off-road SUV. And uh, help me convince her, please. Please help me convince her. So. Whether it be two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, or this is Land Cruiser, I'm damn sure going to drive. This has been your All-Terrain Nation. This is our first look at the new 2024. Looks like a 1958. I don't know what they call these things. We're out. Peace, everybody. Love y'all.